Thank you, Madam Speaker. Improving the fuel efficiency of our cars and trucks is one of the most important things that we can do to fight climate change. And thanks to an executive order signed by President Obama, the federal vehicle fleet is becoming more efficient. And by 2020, it will reduce petroleum use by 30 percent, saving money and cleaning the air. But the United States Postal Service, which owns and operates the world's largest civilian fleet, is exempt from this critical effort and is heading in the wrong direction on fossil fuel consumption. 141,000 of their vehicles, nearly three-quarters of their delivery fleet, are aging Grumman LLVs, the old mail truck that we see in our neighborhoods every day. Most get less than 10 miles to the gallon, and they're reaching the end of their operational lifespan. To save money and cut emissions, the Postal Service desperately needs a modern, efficient fleet. And that's why I'm introducing the Fleet Act, Federal Leadership in Energy Efficient Transportation, to close the fuel efficiency gap between the Postal Service and other modern fuel efficient fleets. A quarter of our nation's greenhouse gases are emitted in the transportation sector. It's time to take our worst fleet and make it into our best fleet.